I asked Abba, what is the message that he wanted to share with his people? And he wanted me to uh, speak on breakthrough and the signs of breakthrough. Hallelujah. Because some of us may be standing in the midst of breakthrough and we don't have a clue. We, we we think we're still waiting on it. God is so amazing. Just like with the, the Israelites who wandered in the wilderness for 40 years, you know, and they were right there at their promised land. Hallelujah. So he wanted me to break down the word breakthrough. He gave me advancement, enhancement, improvement, and refinement. Then he wanted me to break that down. <laughs> advancement, promotion or elevation to a higher rank or position. Enhancement, the process of improving the quality, um, amount, strength of something. Improvement, an occasion when something gets better. Refinement, small changes or additions that you make to something in order to improve it. A process of making something pure. And this is why for some of you, you feel like it's been like back to back to back because God is doing all of this during this part this process of breakthrough. There is advancement taking place, enhancement, improvement and refinement. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. So this is the five signs your breakthrough is here. The number one sign. A sudden shift occurs in your life. A job change, a move, a heartbreak, a bad diagnosis. You're faced with a situation that seems impossible without God. Sign number two. You see visions, signs, multiple messages of encouragement. You can see the vision, but not the whole path. Because God wants you to remain close so that you don't go ahead of him and get lost again. Sign number three. You begin to seek God more. You pray more. You worship more. You fast. You realize the importance of abiding in God. This time spent with the Lord has shown you that you can trust him. And he has comforted you during this time and given you peace in every situation. Hallelujah. Number four. This time spent with the Lord has emptied you out. And you have now become filled with the spirit of God. This is where true healing and change begins. You say, Lord, let thy will be done because you trust him. Sign number five. Hallelujah. Now, because you trust him, your tears have turned into joy. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Those who sow with tears will harvest with shouts of joy. They weep as they go to sow their seed, but they sing as they return with the harvest. All of this will end in joy, period. Congratulations, your breakthrough is here. And scripture that the Lord wanted me um, to reference for this word, John 832, and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon that is fashioned against you shall succeed and you shall refute every tongue that rises against you in judgment. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their vindication from me declares the Lord. Psalms 126, 5 through 6. Those who plant in tears will harvest with shouts of joy. They weep as they go to plant their seed, but they sing as they return with the harvest. And James 5, 11. We give great honor to those who endure under suffering. For instance, you know about Job, a man of great endurance. You can see how the Lord was kind to him at the end. For the Lord is full of tenderness and mercy. Hallelujah. Amen.